Hey guys, it's Orange Sutton back again with another action figure review. This time, the Marvel Legends Black Panther. This is the new Black Panther uh, from the Black Panther for uh, Wakanda Forever wave. Uh, I found this at my local Walmart for $24.99. Here's the new box. Yes, we all don't like these boxes, but it's what we get. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I don't know, man. I, I really miss the old. I love the. I miss the window boxes, but it'd be cool if they had like at least a small little window. But I'm not gonna grab too hard. This is on the new Vulcan body. Uh, I wanted to pick this one up, and I wanted to, you know, check it out. I haven't opened it yet, so let's hope everything's in there. Here's Black Panther out of the package, and I am pretty good so far. I think he looks pretty good, and. I've had no problems with them, but, but we've, uh, before we get into him, he's a little stiff. Uh, you do come with the build a figure piece. That's nice. And you do come with some fists and you do come with his claw hands. Would have been nice if he came with the comic accurate, um, ultra head with like, uh, T'Challa, but what we do get, it's nice. Uh, it's really nice. I like the gray on it it's really cool i like the head i like this little cape it's a little hard plastic <laughs> little ropes it looks okay for what it is um let's get into articulation leg can go up to there you can bend to there and go all the way back foot can go side 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 can turn swivel arms can go up to there really nice pinless awesome uh, the cape does hinder a little bit of the articulation but it's not as bad you got butterfly joints that's nice he can bend all the way down bend all the way back with the you know cape and then go up, down, side, side. If you have the Vulcan body, you know what you're getting into with this. Um, so far, it looks clean. It looks good. Here, let's uh, take off. Let's take off this cape. I do like the cape. I think it's cool. But let's just take it off. There's the cape. Really nice. No peg holes. I like that. It just stays on. And then here he is. Here he is with just the... What is... Oh, a little plastic. <laughs> I am so happy with this body. I really like the Vulcan body. Um, they just need to retire the old body. The cap, uh, Bucky cap. This is really neat. For the um, butterfly joints that you do get. This is overall, this is a good looking figure. I, I think it's a really good uh, classic Black Panther. Uh, I really like it. I think it's really cool. You get him in some really nice posing. And whatnot. Ah, it's just so cool. So cool, for sure. But um, let's get into size comparisons now. First off, here he is with Thor. You can see Thor is a little bit bigger than him, but that's pretty cool. Here he is with the Mezco Black Panther. This looks pretty cool. And then here he is with the other MCU Black Panther, but Marvel Legends. And then here he is by the Vulcan body right next to him. I switched the head with Cyclops because I think it looks cooler. And here he is with one of my favorites, uh, the Black Panther comic accurate one from the Toy Biz era. And this guy's small to this guy. I mean, you know, I've always liked this one. This one was actually one of my favorites. I never picked up the other Marvel Legend one that came out years ago. I uh, stuck with this one. I like this one a lot. I always thought this one was neat. I love the details. But I really like this one. I really do like this new one. But I, I got to be honest, I still really like this uh, Toy Biz one. I just think it's because of how grimy it is and how detailed it is. And I love the cape and everything. So this is probably still going to go on my classic Avenger shelf. And this will go on my um, 
probably Civil War shelf or Hero shelf. But this is still a good one. Articulation, really great. And I don't know if anyone wants to see this, but I thought I'd show it off. Here's the Mezco um, Chadwick Bozeman head. And I mean, it, it's a little too high for him. Maybe if you squeeze it down. I was able to squeeze it down just a little bit. I mean, this actually looks pretty cool. I feel like this could work for a nice, uh, you know, head. You know, actually looks pretty cool. It's really neat. And then I don't know why not since we have them. Here's the. I mean, besides the purple throwing it off, that actually looks pretty cool. And then I think I have the other head. Let me grab that one. And here's the Mezco Black Panther head. I mean, if you push it down just a little bit, you can make it fit. Push it out. There we go. I mean, I feel like that actually looks pretty cool too. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it clashes a little bit, but I mean, if you really want that, that can work for your display. So overall, I do think this figure is pretty neat. I think it's really nice. Uh, great classic Black Panther, especially if you missed on the Toy Biz one or, or don't have the Toy Biz one or missed the last uh, Marvel Legends classic Black Panther. I do like the cape too. I think the cape's really neat, but to get that full range of articulation, I really like this. I think this is a really cool figure, worth picking up in my opinion. And yeah, really nice. If you like this review, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.